Hey everybody, it's John here from VidGamingAct.com. Here we are today back in Dead Rising 4, grabbing the Seasoned Journalist achievement. This is to solve all of the mysteries in the game. This is pretty much another form of collectible. It is to collect all of the newspapers and cell phones, I believe. However, we are going to throw in all the podcasts and the cloud uploads too. They may or may not be part of the achievement. It's pretty unclear, so we're going to get them anyways. So we're going to start off in the mall on Miami Boardwalk. First one's going to be in the go-kart store right there. It's a newspaper underneath the cash register. Next one's going to be in this toy store where the fire extinguisher should go. We're going to start going south and work our way around the mall in case uh, you need extra directions. But uh, once you are going through here, this is on the way to Caribbean Cove inside this camera store will be your next newspaper. Heading into Caribbean Cove, you want to hit up the restaurant and over here is going to be another newspaper and each of the newspapers completes a story and once you complete one particular story you should get your first achievement for finishing your story so uh, there you go this one is going to be for five gamer score it's called rookie journalist and you should get that right off the bat all right next up what you want to do is want to head here towards the middle of the area this is going to be a place with a bunch of beach beds or whatever you call them there's going to be a key right here make sure you pick that up there's going to be a number of these collectibles that are behind locked doors which require keys i'll point out as many of the keys as possible but most of the keys i've actually gone as part of the blueprints collectibles video so i recommend doing that one first so you can have a grasp of most of the keys however this key is going to open up this uh, door in the tanning salon and this also helps out for the panic room challenge in case you are doing all the challenges we're going to head over here this is the escalator that takes you up to the second floor keep in mind that the second floor collectibles are very easy to miss just because they're not located on your map unless you toggle the floor so uh, head up here just jump onto the balcony and then grab the newspaper right here on this little walkway this one is also going to be on the second floor. So make your way back to the escalator and take it up all the way. And you should see this uh, security agency right here. And uh, while you're here, just head up the stairs. And then you want to look in this uh, back office right here. And uh, right here is going to be yet another newspaper. So make sure you pick that up. And then we are going to head back to the first floor and then go into the hallway connecting Caribbean Cove with the little Asian town place of the mall. You have the Colossus Express Couriers. So uh, head in here and uh, courier yourself a newspaper right next to the photocopy machine. Right before you get into Kichiro Plaza, you are going to have this electronic store off to the left. This one's going to have another cell phone. It's going to be on this shelf right here off to the left. So make sure you grab that right over here and then we are going to head back up to the second floor so go into the plaza and take the left staircase up this should take you to the furniture store called zen in here is uh, going to be a, another cell phone right here in the back corner grab that then we're going to head to the central plaza and uh, while you're here you want to head into santa's workshop you want to go in through the front so uh, this is the building that takes you up to go see santa you know how it works and uh, grab this right next to the killer elves not scary at all head to the workshop which is going to be right here and uh, this is on the other end so you go through the little plaza you see santa's chair and you make your way to his toy workshop and you can grab the cell phone behind the desk and we're gonna leave that place gonna head into be ready insurance <laughs> nice pun but uh while you're in here you can uh, grab the uh collectible right on this desk right next to the keyboard so grab that and then we're gonna head out to the military occupation center in the front parking lot while you're here what you want to do is you want to hit up this tent right here you should have your first uh, vic upload right here so grab that then we're going to head over here this is uh, part of this main story in case you uh, are doing this while going through the game i try to do this in linear order and divide it up as you would go in the game so keep that in mind in case you're doing this from the free roam but the cell phones gonna be right here on this box we're gonna head back into the mall and then head up the stairs into central plaza there's going to be another collectible right here you're gonna have to jump the rail and then you have to scale along this walkway sadly you can't break that glass and uh, just take the short way here but you want to look inside Santa's sleigh and grab this cell phone and then we're gonna head over here this is going to be the McQueen portrait studio it's the only store on the second floor you want to look in the back room. There should be another Vic upload right there. This is uh, where you take pictures. So um, head into the back studio and then grab it. It's just right here on this middle box. And uh, then we can move on. Next up, we're going to head over to Medieval Town, which you would normally go to first in the main story. However, we are doing this 
in the free roam where we can have full access to the whole mall which you get really early just beat the first chapter and then the mall should open up to you so once you're in here you want to look for the uh, pig store and uh, once you're there you want to jump onto the hay bales and then make your way up the catwalk and you need to scale your way around the rooftop basically you're trying to make your way back to the center once you get here you want to make sure you take the stairs up and this should take you to the roof of the hamburger restaurant and once you're here you have to do a little bit of platforming so you have to jump over these beams off to the left through this open window and right here is where you can get your next cell phone so make sure you grab that then we're going to head through medieval town back on the other side this is the hallway connecting it back with the starting area you're going to notice this keep out camp with uh, all the maniac dudes make sure you jump it and then grab it on that mattress Moving on to the toy store, this is uh, going to be pretty dark in here, so turn on night vision if you can't see, but uh, head through here. You want to grab it on top of this T-Rex mask, so grab that, and then we're going to head further down. This one's going to be in 404 Electronics, so uh, this one I believe is going to be in uh, the table or one of the shelves. I've got some of these on accident while going through the main game, so if it's not part of the video, that means I got it on an earlier run. I'm just going to show you the general location of those. So uh, apologies for that. But uh, heading into the food court, you have the cell phone right here. You want to look for Raj's Samosa Hut. You can grab two here. Grab the cell phone and then just jump down and then in this pile of zombies will be another cell phone. So make sure you grab those two. Then we're going to head over here to the center food court. You should see like this uh, bar right here. There's going to be a newspaper in the center shelves where all the uh, bottles of alcohol are. Just uh, grab it. I think it's right here. So then we're going to move on. This is going to be where the hotel is. So if you don't know where the key is, I think it's in the women's bathroom if I remember correctly. This is when you get the blueprint for the umbrella gun. But grab the key and then you need to scan this door. It's right next to the elevators in the main lobby. Head through here and not only will you get the blueprint, but you can grab a cell phone on this bed. Head upstairs onto the second floor of the hotel, and you want to go into the far room, and in here is going to be your first podcast. It's going to be on the balcony. Make sure you get these two rooms because it's also part of the location's achievement, and these are very missable, as with any second floor buildings or locations. So uh, next couple of ones are going to be in the safe house of the mall, so just head there. You should know where it is if you play to the main story and have all the safe houses, etc., etc., Look on the security console for the next cell phone, and then we're going to head downstairs to the basement. Most of these safe houses usually have two collectibles, one on the top floor and then one on the bottom that don't uh, appear in your map, just like any other collectibles that are in basements or on second floors, because the map system doesn't really point that out unless you toggle it. So head through here and then head into the cafeteria, grab your next podcast right here next to this sandwich. And that's going to wrap it up for the mall. We can start heading into Old Town right now. So right when you get out, so there's going to be this park right here. There's going to be some basketball courts here. You want to look at this bench and then grab the collectible right there. Next one's going to be in the bathroom area. I think it's in the men's bathroom. So I think this is going to be a, another cell phone. So head on in here. And I think this one is going to be on this dead body or it's on the sink counter. So uh, check out where that is. It's a small room. You can't get lost. Head down here to the left. You should see this archway connecting the two halves of the park. Grab the cell phone underneath it and then head over here to the far side of the park. You should see this jungle gym right here. Head over there and uh, of course, going to do some rock climbing. But uh, underneath that is going to be your next newspaper. All right, let's go and wrap up the park. We can finally hit up the main part of town. I'm going to start right here in the upper left. You should see this garage right here. Head on inside, the garage side that is, and then look on this uh, tool chest for your next newspaper. We're going to head further into town and work our way around. You know how the deal works. Head to this area. It's going to be the brain dump. It's one of those computer repair centers for people who, who are too dumb to fix their own computers. Look on the front counter for your next Vic upload. Then we're going to head over here to this area. I think it's a restaurant. It's going to be this bu buffet area, the Nutty Bird Cafe. Head inside here and then grab your collectible right next to this booth. And it's going to be another cell phone. Head over to Hungry Joe's Pizzeria. That's going to be in the middle of town. And it's going to be right here. It looks like any other building because this game lacks the originality of the first two games. As I mentioned before, 
But anyways, head in here and then grab the newspaper on this back shelf. Right over here next to all these canned things of orange juice or whatever. Head over here. This is going to be the comic book shop. So head through the front door. You can check out all the Street Fighter standees. But uh, more importantly, your cell phone is going to be on this overturned shelf. Alright, head over here across the street. You should see this drugstore here with a bunch of dudes in it. You can mess them up if you want to. Can't jump through that window, but you can jump through this one. But uh, there's a guy in there, so get through that. Something costs $8.99. But anyways, head to the back and grab it off this shelf right over here. Yet another newspaper. And uh, moving on to the barbershop right down the street from there. Lots of generic things to go to. In here is going to be yet another newspaper. It's on the couch. Can't miss it. And then finally, we are going to head back to the safe house for a bit. We're going to be going back here a lot just because there's a lot of keys in here. And uh, I didn't want to grab them all at once just to um, end the sake of confusion. There's a key right there that should open up a thing in the newspaper place. So head there. It's called the Willamette Gazette. And uh, once you're in here, there's going to be two collectibles in here. First one you can get is going to be in the back alley behind the lot. And uh, in here is going to be a newspaper in this dumpster. Make sure you pick that up. Finally, that key is going to go to the hidden bunker behind this uh, place right here. So use the, your camera, spectrum uh, analyzer, scan the handprint, and uh, that should open up the door. Use your key. It's not enough that you have to use your camera to scan it. You have to find and use the key. Really annoying. But uh, in here is uh, going to be your next newspaper right underneath this microwave. So pick that one up and uh, move on. You have the Colombian Roast Masters. This has been in every single Dead Rising game. Man, I missed the infinite pies and orange juice in the first one. But uh, anyways, head to the back and then cell phone right here, right next to this dead person. So we're going to head over here. This is going to be this, uh, I think it's like an electronics store, like an appliance store. In here is going to be a podcast on this washing machine, or it's a dryer, maybe. Not sure. All right, lower left-hand corner of this block, you should see this uh, liquor store. In here is going to be a bunch of alcohol, but uh, more importantly, our next collectible on this box of beer. So make sure you grab that. Moving on to right here, you have the City Hall archives, big area. You want to go in towards the front. This is where you get your exosuit blueprint um, that you'd have to dig up using the exosuit, so right in front of that. But head towards the back on this uh, table next to this blueprint is going to be your next cell phone. From there, we're going to head to the front. You want to look for the sign of City Hall, which is going to be in the uh, lower right corner from where we're going. So jump the sandbags and then hang a right right here, sign right there, and your collectible will be uh, right next to it, right in the front. Perfect place to leave a cell phone. Head over here. There's going to be a key right next to City Hall, yet another key. I also recommend buying the keys maps. You do have to buy all the maps because it is a challenge, so keep that in mind. But this should open up the safe inside City Hall. So uh, go into it. I think you go here as part of the story in like case two. So head through this door and then you have this room where it's like super dark. So use your night vision if you can't see or if uh, you don't want to be bumping into shelves all the time. So just use that. Unfortunately, there's no way to turn on your night vision in third person. So you have to constantly click in and out of your camera. Real nice uh, developers of Capcom. Uh, but uh, anyways, uh, the thing's going to be right here. Just press that using your key, and that should open up the bunker. You have the Mike Hagar costume right there. Makes you wonder if Mike Hagar is actually mayor of this town, too. But uh, anyways, once you are in the bunker, it's not going to be in the bathroom. It's going to be on this side next to these water jugs that need some serious refilling. But uh, grab your newspaper right there. Then we're going to head back into town. You have uh, this place. It's uh, like a cafe. We're not going to go there. Instead, we're going to go behind it. And you'll notice uh, this back alley. And you can go in through the back door. This should take you to the apartment above the cola store. And uh, while you're in here, you can grab your next collectible right next to this fridge. It is yet another Vic upload. Grab that. All right, next one is going to be near the butcher shop. Don't go inside the butcher shop. That's going to be a waste of time. This collectible is going to be actually confusing. So instead of wasting your time, you want to jump onto this truck right here and head to the building above the butcher shop. Don't head upstairs either. Once again, waste of time. Head through this door, and you should be in this hotel room because I build my hotel above butcher shops all the time in the inner city. But the collectible is going to be on the toilet in the bathroom. 
I'm gonna head over here. Right here is gonna be some more back alley stuff. But uh, you want to look for this dumpster, and then you can grab this right here in this non-disclosed location. Back in the safe house, because we have to probably get another key, because, you know, uh, Dead Rising 4 logic. But uh, head into this room and grab the key. This should be the key to the Be Ready Insurance office, opposed to their store in the mall. This is their actual headquarters, probably. Probably, but uh, this one is going to be another one where you have to parkour up some fire escapes. So do that, and then head into here. And uh, once you're in here, you should be in this little office building, and uh, just scan this shelf. Just uh, use your spectrum analyzer thingy, and then just uh, move this thing out of the way. Very, very, very annoying. And uh, of course, use your key to open up the thing. And then once you're in here, you have your next newspaper. Make sure you grab that, and then we can move on over here to the laundromat on the far right of town. In here is uh, going to be your next collectible, just uh, on this chair. It's going to be a podcast, nothing really new. I guess someone took it out before they did their laundry so they wouldn't mess it up with uh, water damage. Next one, uh, gas station right here, as I try desperately to not be funny. Because there are so many collectibles in this game, they really overdid themselves. Newspaper right there on the newsstand, a appropriate place to find a newspaper. You have the car lot right here, the impound lot, you go here in the main story. This is one of the few places where you actually don't have to do chapter select to uh, go back to, which is awesome. I hate those, and we'll cover those at the end in case you notice that I missed some stuff on the map. Because some of these are behind chapter select walls, which is super annoying. Anyways, uh, this one's going to be in the auto shop, uh, main office, front desk, and then we're going to head back into town and then take the far left side. You have the cemetery, and you have uh, this uh, giant pole in the middle on the right side right here. Just uh, drive up to it and then grab your next collectible right there, right underneath this thing. So get that, and then we're going to head down here. This is the Christmas tree lot. There's going to be another key down here. It's going to be by the dumpster. This is where you fight the Santa Claus boss, um, psychopath, I guess you can't call them that anymore, what they're called, like maniacs or something, something dumb and unoriginal, but anyways, uh, this should open up the uh, bunker at the bus depot, so head there, and the door is going to be behind the front desk, open that up, and then grab your next uh, collectible, which is going to be in here, so do that, lots of zombies in here, take care of them, but uh, collectible on the bed, another cell phone, and we're going to head back to the safe house, and instead of grabbing keys this time, we're actually going to grab a few collectibles. So head up to the second floor, and uh, newspaper or cell phone, one or the other right here. It's a cell phone. And uh, next one's going to be in the basement, cafeteria probably, because, you know, someone decided to make all these safe houses look exactly the same. But, uh, yeah, so head downstairs. For some reason, I'm grabbing a chair, because, you know, the uh, grab button's the same for weapons and these things. Gotta fit over your way through these beds, and then finally make your way into the cafeteria. This one's gonna be on this chair. Pick that one up. On to the third area. We're gonna start off at the farmhouse. There's actually gonna be a slew of missable ones here that are locked behind chapter select, so don't worry about those for now in case you are referencing the map. However, first one's gonna be right in the starting area after you get abducted and wake back up in this little side house. You can grab the newspaper off this workbench. You wanna look in the back of the big barn, there should be like this uh, storage container here. Over here is going to be a mattress, another podcast, make sure you grab that. After that, we're going to head over here to the side where the shooting range is. So look behind these uh, targets right here, and then grab yourself yet another collectible. So in this direction, make sure you look behind here, and then grab your cell phone right here on this hay bale. Alright, after that, we are going to head into the barn and then head up to the second floor. If you don't know how to do that, you can take the hay, the hay bale up. So just jump onto the hay bale and then make your way up here. And of course, Dead Rising platforming, which means uh, yeah, you get stuck sometimes when the camera gets all fiddly, as you can see right here. Just uh, struggle to make your way up and then the cell phone is going to be right up here. Make sure you pick that one up. Then we're going to head into the actual house. You can't go up to the second floor until you uh, get to that specific chapter, so if you're doing this in free roam, just uh, just grab the ones on the first floor for now, and we'll worry about the other ones at the end of the video. But the collectible you can grab here is going to be in the bathroom on the sink. There's also another one you can grab in this little side room right here next to this 
praying lady and uh, make sure you grab it on this table. So make sure you pick that one up. All right, head to the neighborhood, and this neighborhood's gonna have a bunch of houses, which means a lot of same old, same old. Go into the house, get the collectible. Most of these houses have bunkers, which means you need keys. So uh, get ready for a lot, a lot of monotonous stuff because this is what Dead Rising needed, right? Just a bunch of boring areas that uh, no one cares about. So first collectible in this first house is going to be in the kids' room. Make sure you grab that, and then we're going to head over here. This is going to be a gas station. Mixing it up a bit, but uh, man, we have a lot of boring to come. But uh, in here is going to be a newspaper right next to the coffee. Make sure you grab that. Head over to this house, um, a house called the Patriots. A very, very patriotic family. It's Joe and Jane Patriot. This one requires a key. I've already shown this as part of the Blueprints Guide, so you can reference this. Not totally sure where this key is. Can't recall. But anyways, grab that. We're going to head into the school. This is where you fight the mascots. Everyone remembers that psychopath. I mean, uh, maniac guide, whatever. But uh, head to the gym. You fight him right there with a bunch of football players because Dead Rising 4, so original. Uh, uh, the cell phone's going to be on this cot right here. Make sure you grab that. So head to the center of the school, and you should see this open window behind all these military boxes. This will lead you into the classroom. For some reason, the chalkboard says wedding photography, which makes me think that this is supposed to be the classroom at the start of the game. But that doesn't make any sense because we flew here. So I guess it's supposed to be an Easter egg. Who knows? Or maybe this teacher was teaching middle schoolers about wedding photography also. But nonetheless, we're going to go back to the neighborhoods and then go into more boring, boring, boring houses. So this house called the, the uh, Fogies. These uh, collectibles going to be in the master bedroom. I think it's going to be on that table right there. Head to Sub Mega, the sub sandwich shop. And clearly this sub shop isn't doing it too big on toppings since there's only one row of the glass sneeze guard thing there. Uh, we're going to head over to the tanning salon. Man, they're already repeating stores. Man, I can see where the creativity went in this game. But uh, collectibles going to be right here on the front counter. It's going to be another podcast. Make sure you grab that. Head over to the yoga store. Remember the yoga store in Dead Rising 3? How it was ginormous and you actually fought a real psychopath there and not maniacs? Man, this uh, commentary is so long and boring after keeping snarky at this game. Um, but uh, collectible right there on that uh, yoga bench. Speedy Express, though, is another repeat store. But uh, anyways, this one is uh, going to be over here on the front counter. Unfortunately, I grabbed this accidentally earlier, but it's going to be right there, I think. So we're going to head down south now. This is uh, this house. Uh, it's actually a uh, EMS place, emer emergency medical services. But uh, anyways, uh, right here is going to be this locker. Grab the newspaper inside and then head further up. You have this house called the Gardener. This is where you find the Gandalf combo weapon from that achievement. But uh, head on inside. And uh, parents' bedroom right here off to the left. And you can ha find the cell phone in this drawer. It actually took me a while to find that because it's pretty well hidden. We're going to go over here. This is like the rich people's area. Um, you want to look in this garage. And here's going to be a shelf with uh, yet another cell phone. Grab that. All right, we're going to continue down. We're going to go down and around the map like a big U. You have this playground right here. This one's going to be on top of it. So you need to go around and then climb the slide. So uh, go through and under, up the slide, and then grab your next collectible right over here. Then we're going to go across the way, so just take the rest of the jungle gym into the next door neighbors. And you have a bunch of military people here, lots of zombies, they won't F off, so we're going to make them. And then you have this uh, military table, grab the cell phone right here. Then we have the next house, of course. Head on inside, and uh, all the houses look the same, so having the map helps out a bunch so you don't get lost. So go in here, and then we are going to head into the back room. There's going to be a collectible underneath this stack of plates. It's going to be another newspaper. Grab that. Head upstairs now, and then we can uh, hang a right right here, and then into the bedroom, and then grab uh, the uh, cell phone right here on this uh footstool. Next up we have the next door neighbors and then on the way there we have this little I guess this is a park but there's nothing really here except for a giant like um, shade or a canopy so whatever the case the collectible is going to be on this bench and uh, then we can go over here to the Booker residence 
in here is going to be uh, another house and another collectible because you know it's uh, what this game's all about. And as you can tell, I'm getting very, very bored trying to grab all these, as you should probably be, because man, this game is uh, really, really overdoing it with the collectibles. <laughs> but anyways, grab that, and then we're gonna head down stairs, and then uh, going to go into the living room, and there is another collectible right there. It's a podcast. Make sure you pick that up. Man, I missed the PP stickers already from the first game and off the record, because at least those were interesting and uh, not samey. And then take us into stupid neighborhoods with houses that all look the same. This one's going to be in the backyard with the tree with the machete sticking out of it. Make sure you grab that. This one's going to be in the center of the cul-de-sep, and that's going to be in this truck. So just fumble your way through the zombies and uh, grab this right here. People love killing zombies, and uh, that's all everyone really really gets out of Dead Rising apparently according to some game developers anyways uh, tennis courts uh, bench you know the deal grab the collectible uh, the originality is uh, off the charts right now anyways uh, next up this house man this doesn't get old but uh, anyways head on inside and then we're gonna hang a right this one's gonna be right here in between these two shelves grab that and of course I got it accidentally already after that, head to the garage, and then newspaper on this workbench next to a bunch of chili. So grab that. Another house. Dear Lord, so many houses in this neighborhood because, man, this, that's what everyone wants to see. Man, t talk about going back to the game's roots. Frank West and the Willamette Mall and houses. Everyone, remember that? everyone remembers that from Dead Rising 1. But anyways, uh, good Lord, another house right here. Just, uh, keep keep uh, keep it coming. Uh, this is the house I believe that you have to go into for the main story where you meet all the band of people that at that point I stopped caring. But anyways, uh, collectible right here on this box of supplies. Then we're gonna head over here to the Musax house. And uh, in here is uh, probably gonna be another collectible. I don't know. It's probably what this video is about. And by now, if you're not bored, um, I am impressed if you managed to make it this far in the video. And you know what? This is only about halfway through, so, <laughs> man, uh, bathroom right here, bathtub, grab the collectible. Oh, man, are we done already? Okay, all right, we're in the safe house now. Uh, I think we're probably going to grab a key or another newspaper. So, uh, basement time, and then um, turn around here, it's the bedroom area, and then uh, take a right. Then we have this area. Oh, it's a newspaper. All right, grab that, and uh, we should be good. And then finally, we can start making our way north. All right, this is the uh, country-esque area of that neighborhood. So this is going to be the vineyard. You come here as part of the main story to go look for uh, the doctor from the first game because this game can only afford cheap references to the first game. And uh, there's going to be a cell phone next to that dead guy. Head into the actual vineyard. There's going to be a couple in here that you can grab. So first newspaper is going to be right here on this little armchair. Make sure... Next one's going to be on top of this piano. It's going to be another cell phone. Make sure you grab that. And then we're going to head upstairs. So uh, take the stairs up. There's a staircase on either side. Just whatever. Uh, head this way. And then you want to head towards right here. And uh, there's going to be a cell phone by the Christmas tree. I guess someone got a cell phone for Christmas. Lucky them. Uh, anyways, uh, turn around and then head around here. You have a podcast uh, upload right here. So grab that. Whatever. Um, and then jump down. Now we're going to head to the basement where you're supposed to go for the main story. Lucky for you, this place isn't locked by gated story progression. You can actually come here in the free roam. So into the wine cellar and it's dark. So you have to use the night vision or else you're going to run into tables like I did right there. Um, anyways, uh, just head to the back. Just keep fumbling your way until you see a doorway to your left. Head in there and uh, there's going to be a collectible on this shelf. I think it's another cell phone. There you go. And then we can uh, finally leave that awful place and then head over here. This is going to be the farmer's stand, not to be confused with the fireworks stand. But there's going to be a key right here. This opens up the uh, farm, which is to the right. So just uh, bounce your way across. Or if you were smart, you probably bought a, uh, brought a car and you can just drive. But, uh, you know, I'm dumb. So anyways, the farmhouse is right here. And there's going to be some collectibles in here, of course. Use the key to open up the keypad and get into the bunker. And then finally, in the bunker, we have uh, a newspaper right uh, right here, as well as a cell phone. So grab both, because why not? 
And then we can finally leave and then head further up north. You have this building right over here. It's another barn. And uh, in here you want to look for this hay bale and then just jump up. More frustrating dead rising climbing and jumping controls. And uh, once you're finally up here, you have your collectible on some sandbags. So make sure you grab that. Or maybe they're bags of grain. Who knows and who cares. Up here is going to be this barn. Oh man, they even made this part of the game boring. But uh, anyways, it's on a barrel. Lucky for you, no platforming. Alright, next up you have the fireworks stand up here. And uh, this one is uh, going to be around the fireworks stand. So just go towards the back. Don't go inside. I guess you can if you want to, but uh, you know. Right here on this barrel. It's a red, white, and blue barrel. Even the barrels are patriotic. Uh, anyways, you head up here. This, you have this uh, Christmas tree lot, which you actually don't go here at all in the main story. And this is a pretty new area. So uh, while you're here, you can look at this uh, kind of center area and grab it right here. Then we can uh, finally get back on the road and uh, go here. You have uh, this truck. I think it's in the truck. Go in the truck. Truck, truck. Uh... Yeah, right here on this bench. Man, my boredom in this game is uh, creeping up. But uh, anyways, hydroelectric dam. You can actually uh, get some in the free roam. We're going to grab this one right here. So head up and uh, grab it next to this truck. The rest here are gone in the story progression. So we will be getting them in chapter select. All right, uh, finally. In the last part of town, oh boy. Uh, motel area, you fight the cultist dudes here, and then uh, once they're taken care of, or if you're doing this in a different chapter than I am, you don't have to worry about them. But uh, head into the room on the far left, and then grab the podcast right here. I'm pretty sure this place becomes Novak in New Vegas. Uh, cell phone right here by the bed, and then after that we are going to uh, head on back outside, and of course go to a different room. And uh, then we're going to go to this open room. They had to put a collectible in every single freaking open room, did they? Vic, uh, upload right here. And then there's probably one downstairs. Jump down. And then finally, we have one right here, right beneath the bottom of the stairs, where you get the blueprint for the Jurassic Barf. But cell phone on the nightstand. Then across to the fire hall. All right, so uh, anyways, head in through the open door where the fire engine is, and then head into the back room, head up to the second floor, and then grab it. It's going to be in a locker between the two fire beds. All right, so just uh, keep making your way through here. We're almost done, about three quarters of the way through these freaking collectibles. Man, doing this uh, makes me remember how boring it was trying to get all these collectibles. But uh, anyways, if you're still with us, we are going to be going to a, a pawn shop next. Jump on this truck and then up here you have this conveniently placed box which lets you climb higher up. Making this jump was the most annoying thing ever since my character would miss like 5 out of the 10 times I tried. And yes, I tried an extra 5 times. What am I talking about? Anyways, uh, collectible right there in the middle of the roof next to two dead people. Uh, tattoo parlor right here. Um, gotta have lots of those in this game. Uh, head on inside, and then finally, he wants to turn around and uh, grab the collectible underneath this uh, household cleaner. That one is actually pretty well camouflaged. Up north, you have a um, garage right here, a um, auto shop. But uh, anyways, uh, collectible is going to be towards the back in case you still care about that. I'm just falling asleep trying to put this together. But uh, anyways... Uh, Right here in this nice little uh, employee break room. Next up down here is uh, going to be the nightclub. Oh, so much fun memories trying to find the key to that place. Remember the nightclub in uh, Dead Rising 3 where you fight the um, erotic dancer dude? Or maybe that was a uh, erotic adult store. I don't remember. Man, I wish I was playing that instead. But sadly, got uh, most of the achievements in that. And uh, that determines uh, whether or not and how long I stick with the game. Sadly, that what a world we live in. Cell phone's going to be on the pool table right there. And then we can head over to the radio station. This is where you get one of the combo blueprints. It's the one with the gong. And it's the only reason why the gong is a useful weapon in this game. In here is going to be a podcast on this chair. Then to the convenience store. There's a lot of these in this. It's like the 7-Eleven of the Dead Rising world. The Tornado Gas Station Mini Mart. 
In the back will be the newspaper hidden by the coffee. No, this isn't a repeat of earlier. They decided to hide the thing in a similar location, in a similar place, in the same store. Man, the originality of this game. Can't can't stress it enough. Uh, holiday workshop podcast right here by the candy cane. Run through here is a cell phone off to the side. Um, I'm putting as much effort into this commentary as the developers put into making this game fun. But anyways, uh, more more snark later. We can finally move on to the gun store, and uh, in here will be another collectible, obviously, because. Yeah, I think I made that joke already. Man, this game is really killing me. Vic upload right here by this computer, and then we can move on to the auto shop. Another auto shop? Man, there's a lot of these in this town. People's cars must break down a lot in this freaking world. Uh, in here, this is the auto shop with these stupid annoying keys, but we don't have to worry about that in this video. So we'll grab the cell phone off the center shelf, and then we're gonna head over here to the Gruff and Tough Motors dealership that sells nothing but ATVs. So, head in here, and uh, I jumped to the window, because taking the stairs are for losers. Lucky for you, you don't have to head into the bunker. Cell phone's right here. This one's just trolling you at this point. Alright, in the safe house, and uh, in here we're going to head down to the um, basement. That's what that's called. And there's going to be a newspaper down here, so uh, grab it. It's right here in the center. No fumbling around, no beds, or nothing stupid like that. And then, we're gonna head right here. You wanna have a car for this. A relatively fast car, so don't get something like an antique car, or like a hearse. Just grab an ATV or a sports car, and then you wanna drive through this. You wanna look for the Kit Packs billboard, and then drive here. You should see a ramp. Make sure you take that up, and then you want to start braking as soon as you reach here. So brake, and then if you don't brake, you're gonna drive off that ledge, as I've done a number of times. Um, so take my experience for what it's worth. Drop down here and the newspaper is going to be right here on this stack of wood. And that's the only way to get here because the developers of this game are really, 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 really good at level design. And I hope they uh, take my compliment with uh, all of that that comes with it. Uh, anyways, we have uh, this building right here. This is the place that takes you to the train tracks. Overturned truck, collectible in there. Then we're going to head across the way. You have this building that you need to get onto the roof. So jump up. You have uh, a bunch of stuff covered with this blue tarp. And then up here, jump up. And then finally, we can grab our next collectible on this sleeping bag. Because uh, why not? And, uh, anyways, uh, we're gonna head down to the train tracks. There's gonna be a couple of collectibles here, and sadly, you can't bring a car down here, which uh, you really should. It's a long straightaway with uh, lots of walking, and it's very annoying. A car would have really helped, but, uh, anyways, you have this walkway right here. It's very easy to pass this one up. I wasn't paying attention, I ran completely past it like an idiot. So, don't be like me, and make sure you grab it on your first try. It's gonna be right here next to this stack of weapons, newspaper right there. Further down the train tracks is going to be the train car. This one has, I think, another podcast. This is the one with the uh, gorilla um, graffiti next to it. So jump up and grab the podcast right here, right next to this machete and this shotgun. And then at the end of the line is going to be the last collectible, at least for free roam. We do have the story-based ones that we have to get to next, but it's a newspaper right here. Alright, sadly uh, for us, the rest of the collectibles are locked behind Chapter Select, because no one wants to play the game again, right? Anyways, uh, load up Chapter 2 and play through the whole freaking chapter until you get to the dam, and I can't tell you how annoying that is. But uh, anyways, once you're finally in the dam, head through here. This is when you get downstairs. You have a Vic upload in this console room. After that, you can just load up Chapter 4, and then you want to play until you get to the military base, which is practically the whole freaking chapter. Yeah, no one wants to play the whole game again, right? But uh, once you have access to the military base, before you head into the building, head into this ticket booth kind of area and grab the cell phone right there. Again, before you enter the building, you have another one. So there's the entrance, just head to the left. You have another ticket booth thing, and then you can grab yet another collectible. So grab it right here off this box. And then we can finally head on inside. After some stuff, we're going to head through this like walkway right here. So head down here, and there's going to be a door at the end of the hallway. Don't go through, through that door yet, because that locks you out of this half of the building. 
because you know but uh, take a left into this open office right here and there will be a filing cabinet with a cell phone on top of it so make sure you pick that up and then finally go through the rest of the story you should be in that room where you do an investigation I'm not gonna spoil it because uh, you can figure that out for yourself and you should have already played the game up to now but anyways you're gonna be heading down this flight of stairs and then before you move on to go do some stuff collectible will be right here pick that one up and then we can move on so after that we can uh, load up chapter number five this is gonna be the last chapter we have to do stuff but there's gonna be a lot of collectibles in here which once again requires you to play through pretty much the entire chapter because once again no one wants to play the whole game right but anyways uh, head through here this is right at the start of the chapter you want to look for this giant radio tower in the back this is before you get out of the base and it blows up and stuff uh, you're gonna have a slew of soldiers along the way I don't know why they're fighting us they have other things to worry about like them dying but uh, anyways uh, collectible on this box and then we can play through the chapter you do some stuff and then you end up back at the farmhouse the second floor of the farmhouse finally opens up to you which means you can take that up and then grab the collectibles here and go fight the farm people because the Dead Rising story took a crazy crazy left turn that no one was expecting uh, and pretty much no one wanted but uh, cell phone right here next to this mattress then uh, head through here and then you want to go into the bedroom and um, look for the cell phone right next to the bed right here where you would find cell phones charging away in their nice nice little docks but after that, we're going to finally head onto the balcony. And then we are uh, going to grab the next collectible right here next to this window that's had better days. And then finally, we can continue on with the main story. So head back into the bedroom. Probably should have got this one last in hindsight, but I'm, I'm dumb. Uh, open up the closet. You want to spectral analyze the crap out of the back wall. You have to do this for the main story anyways. But uh, open that one up. And then after your investigation here, you can grab the farm keys, which should open up the two bunkers at the farm and grab you more collectibles. Yippee. Uh, anyways, uh, wrap up whatever, whatever you have to do there. And then continue. And then uh, I am too lazy to take the stairs. I'm just going to jump off. So jump off the balcony if you're also lazy. And the bunker entrance will be right here. Just use the farm key. Open that one up. This is where you get the wheelchair and the one blueprint for the last combo vehicle. There's going to be a Vic upload right here. And then we're going to head all the way back out and then to the other bunker, which is on the other freaking side of the farm. You could take out all the farm people who are trying to kill you at this point if you really want to. Or if you were smart, you would take a car over here. But uh, lots and lots and lots of walking later and killing. Let's just kill this person. All right, after that, we are going to finally find the bunker right in the corner. Hit up the panel and then open up your bunker and then finally grab your last collectible, at least for this part. Wrap up whatever the hell you have to do at the farm and then you're supposed to head to the cement factory. There's going to be one collectible there. Very important that you get it before you trigger the boss fight. So you're going to be working your way up the scaffolding building right here. Um, you're going to get to this staircase. And uh, this is going to be the floor that has the exosuit. So exosuit right there for reference. Turn around before you uh, bust down the uh, the wall and then you grab the collectible right there. And finally you have all the ones in the sewers. Alright, we're almost done. And uh, we practically beat the, the entire game for a second time. Because, once again, no one wants to play through the game again. But anyways, uh, head through the freaking sewers right here. Uh, keep heading down and uh, eventually you should stumble across a cell phone so that's gonna be your first collectible you're gonna see along the way so keep heading through here I'm gonna leave all this in just because the sewers are pretty confusing and look samey but that's how the rest of the game is more or less uh, first open area right here you see is gonna have your cell phone off to the left make sure you pick that up um, of course you only have access to the sewers in this chapter that's why we are saving this for chapter select why they didn't put this in as part of the open world I don't know in the same room is going to be a newspaper right here by these boxes and this pipe. Head further down into the sewer. So you're going to get to this uh, big area and then you're going to do a little bit of fighting because uh, that's the name of the game, right? People love fighting zombies. After that, you're supposed to blow up the um, gate right here. Forgot what that's called. But uh, anyways, uh, do that and then stuff happens. I cut it out because you don't want to see me fumble around with my lightsaber. 
uh, head through here, and then eventually you're gonna get to this open area. Hang a right, and you should see this uh, hatch that's been blown up. Make sure you head on in here, and there's going to be a collectible in the upper left-hand corner on this box. Now, very important that you pick up this next thing. From there, you want to turn around. There's going to be some keys here. You need to get this key set to get the rest of the collectibles. Very, very, very important because all the other collectibles are locked behind locked doors. But they all take the same key, so lucky for you. Grab that set of keys, and you should be good for the rest of the sewer collectibles. So head on down where you're supposed to be going. And uh, once you get to the next open part, you have this door to your left. As you can see, you need the keys to open it up, all these hatch doors. And all these are behind dark stuff, so you can, you're going to see me fumble around with the stupid night vision. But uh, head through here, and then just keep night visioning up. And then once you get to the end, you have the collectible on this crate. Then head all the way back. So just uh, fumble your way around here. I'm not going to even stop to fight those people, because they don't deserve my time and energy. Because uh, all that went into grabbing these dumb collectibles. But once you are in the next open area, you have uh, this right here, this hatch on the right side, which takes you to another Vic upload. So head through here. There's always going to be one Evo zombie here, which is so threatening. They had to com they had to hide behind just the one locked door, just one Evo zombie. But anyways, it's going to be the last Vic log. Lucky us. And then we're going to fumble through here. And then head through this tunnel. And of course you have a cell phone once you get to the open side. The game gets dark. Lots of Evo zombies here. Finally something remotely threatening. But mattress, because most of the cell phones are on mattresses. And uh, can't go through here, so we have to go around, sadly. Lucky for us, we only have one more collectible, so we're going to haul ass over there. It's going to be right here, right next to this overturned candy cane. Pick that one up, and sadly the achievement is semi-glitched, didn't pop for me right away. I actually played the game for like half an hour and just popped mysteriously out of nowhere while I was trying to do something else. So there it is. If you don't get it, just be a little patient. 20 gamer score, and that's all there is to it.